So I'm sure you guys have all been in this situation. You're on defense, and a guy on the other team is about to pass the ball to the guy you're supposed to be defending, but you're not on the guy you're supposed to be defending because you were too busy thinking about why your teammate is playing in these. So many questions are running through your mind. Was it a gift? Did he actually go to the store and pick those out? Is it a political statement against capitalism? Then you realize, holy shit, none of this matters. Where the hell is my guy that I'm supposed to be defending? Then you see him and you notice the ball is being passed to him, but you're all the way across the court. So obviously, you do the only thing you can do, which is inherit the flash's lightning speed for that split second, snatch the ball out of midair, and run the fast break. You look back and there's no one around you. You're all by yourself. You're running the fast break. You're near the paint. And this is how you imagine it's all going to go down. But in reality, you can't dunk. So all of that buildup you did, you know, inheriting the Flash's powers, which, by the way, is impossible. So it's literally amazing that you did that. It was all for nothing. I'm sure you got the steal and you got two points, which is uh, helping your team get closer to winning. But it wasn't that cool. And that's what really matters. So I'm going to show you guys some flashy moves you can do on the fast break if you can't dunk. By the way, I just want to be clear. This video was completely unnecessary. These moves are just to help you show off a little bit. You literally don't. You shouldn't do them, actually. You literally play better and be better off not doing these moves and not watching this video. In fact, you should probably click off right now. So my favorite move to do on the fast break and probably my go-to move when I feel like being a dick is the around the back through the legs layup. It basically just looks like this. And if you get it right, it's not a travel. It's only two steps. I swear to God, you can watch my legs. Now, this move has the perfect combination of looking pretty cool and being pretty easy to pull off. So this is my favorite move to do. So if you're wondering what it's going to be like in a game, I'm going to show you the clip and I'm going to add uh, some voices so you can understand what people's reactions are going to be like when you do the move. My second favorite move is the classic off the backboard layup. Nothing says show off that can't dunk more like alley-ooping it off the backboard and laying it in. So this is you gotta have this in your arsenal. Another great flashy move is the 360 layup. Now this is probably one of the flashiest moves you can do without being able to dunk, so it looks really cool. But goddamn, there's a big chance to blow it. If you run the fast break and have an easy layup for two points and you end up pulling one of these, then your whole team is gonna hate you. You're gonna look stupid as hell. And guess what? You're not getting picked up again. I don't care if your team wins the game. You're not running it back. They're kicking you off. In fact, I would just not come back to wherever you just played ball because there's probably security cameras and there's no way they're letting you back if you pulled that. So risky move, but I do have a tip if you wanna do it uh, when you jump and you're in mid-air for the 360, turn your head around first before your body, look at the rim, and then the rest of your body will follow, and it'll make it um, easier to hit the layup. Don't turn your neck too fast, though, or else you'll snap your neck and die, and uh, then you'll definitely miss the layup. Anyway, those are my top three flashy moves to do on the fast break, but I also got some simple ones you can do if those look too complex. For example, there's a simple around the back, a simple through the legs, and if you really just, you, you feel like you got Jordan spirit inside of you, you can try to dunk. Or, you know, an alternative is just to grow a foot and then dunk. Anyway, that's the video. I know it's pretty short again, but I've still been pretty busy. Uh, I've been working on the Q&A, so don't worry. That's coming soon. Also, the Let There Be Bucket shirts are still available, so get that while you can. And I'll see you in hell. Nope, not yet. Uh, first, I gotta promote some people who got the Let There Be Bucket shirts. Uh, there's only one this week. Dustin, at Dust Cali. Uh, goddamn looking like a motherfucking Greek god in that shirt. I want you to model all of my fucking shirts, but I don't have you as my model. I have these four dicks. Um, so this is me and my friends. We're just trying to, you know, we're all different races wearing four different color shirts, trying to promote equality and my shirt. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you in hell. I'm just looking for the time that.